Welcome to a new market update and today we're doing two updates because we want to do it twice a day. We want to in integrate more news and also more altcoins and fundamental perspectives. But today we have to do two updates as to more this morning I've been updating Cardano and that one is accelerating quite fast through which I've been taking profits which you can find inside the platform in the description beneath. But I've also been making a Cointelegraph article regarding the last movements of the markets. So in order to discuss that, we're going to first announce that you can subscribe and like this YouTube up video. And we're going to do a rebranding of the company on Saturday. So next Monday, we'll be doing a live stream once again. And probably we're going to be including giveaways. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to what I've been writing and then we can chat about charts too so as you can see my twitter is up here i'm coin telegraph i'm writing articles on a weekly basis for them i've used to do it uh, way more often but right now i'm doing it on a weekly basis in which i usually just describe my overall view of the markets so bitcoin is heating up above the 200 day moving average but faces big overhead resistance explains analyst crypto michino so what we can see here is a summary or at least my view on the markets. And I'm saying that there's a key resistance that Bitcoin is facing right now while it's actually running above the 200 day MA at this point. Can we sustain that MA at this, at this point? We don't know. But more importantly, I'm looking at this price structure. What we've seen since the previous all time high is that we were creating lower highs, lower lows. This lower low here was the support inside the previous range during the previous bull market. And the final test happened there as well before we started to cascade south towards the next level of support, creating a bullish divergence before uh, and before everyone become, became bearish at 28k, reversed that all the way. And the trend has changed right now, given the fact that we are creating higher highs, higher lows. Next to that, we are getting the first test of this resistance zone at this point. So are we going to see continuation yet? Well, it doesn't seem likely the because of the fact that we potentially have a bearish divergence here. And we are going to test this resistance for the first time since we were crashing through it. Meaning that this is a reference point for many traders to be actually taking profits in their Bitcoin UCT pair, seeking for a potential higher low. If we are going to break through it, the next resistance zone that we're looking at is 55k. That is the next level of resistance that probably traders will start taking profits. And if the market continues to run further, that breakout to 55k seems very likely, in which a retest at 48k seems the level that you should be looking at. Critical area of support is found at higher lows here. So the 37.5 level is critical to uh, sustain if it wants to continue moving. So in that perspective, a corrective move of around 15 to 20% would be quite healthy, but losing 37 and K. And I think the next level of support is practically around 30 K. So this is a critical support that we should be holding. So if we go back towards the charts here, we can also see the total market cap facing final resistance zone. Usually when I'm charting, it's not only Bitcoin that I'm charting, but it's the total market cap, altcoin market cap and Ethereum. And in this article, I've discussed the total market cap as well. The total market capitalization of crypto broke through a resistance zone at 1.75 trillion. The next resistance is approaching, which is 2 trillion. Uh, which is quite similar to the level of Bitcoin at 48k. So an immediate breakout is very unlikely to be happening at this stage. A consolidation and range bound construction seems very likely. When we go to the chart, we can see that we have um, got this resistance on at 2 trillion, which is a similar breaker as Bitcoin has been seeing at 48k before it cascaded south. Bullish divergence, reversal, higher low, beautiful flip. But right now it seems very likely to be happening a or to be seeing a consolidative and constructive period between 2 trillion and 1.5 in which the market just consolidates before we are going to see a next big breakout. On the total market capitalization chart though, breaking through through 2 trillion would probably mean that we're going to break all time highs. But given the fact that we see very healthy corrective moves 
um, sideways action too. It doesn't seem unlikely to have the same given the fact that we are approaching such a heavy resistance. Um, going to the charts once again, and I have to fast forward and go further. Altcoin market cap. Are we going to see a 25% correction on the altcoin market cap? We could, given the fact that not only the total market capitalization and Bitcoin and Ethereum are approaching critical resistance zones, altcoin market cap too. Altcoins are approaching resistance at 1 trillion. Next level is 15% higher, which is similar to the breaker that we have before we cascaded south. Does that mean that you should be avoiding entering altcoins at this stage? Well, if you're seeking for higher USDT values, most of them are gone and the downwards risk is significant and the upwards risk is getting limited in the short term. Bitcoin values, however, are still on the ground. So if you are in Bitcoin looking for altcoins to buy through the Bitcoin pass, most of them are still cheap. But looking at the UCT values, you probably could be waiting for higher lows to be happening as a corrective move is almost always happening. Long, short uh, period of correction doesn't matter. But after such a vertical move of almost a 2x, you usually get a corrective move too. So levels to watch around 800 billion and around uh, 850 billion. This is those levels you should be watching. Could the altcoin market cap continue running to 1.15? Of course it can. Uh, but is it going to reverse at some stage? Yes, of course it will. Finally, key levels to watch for Bitcoin on the lower time frames. And currently we're seeing some momentum on Bitcoin already. Uh, but what I've described here is that to avoid a breakdown, we have to hold 45. Um, the critical resistance is found between 47 to 49. As you know, if that breaks, next level is 55k. If, however, 45 is lost at this point, we are most likely breaking all the way down towards 42.6 and potentially even further towards 40.9. And then you get a corrective move in which you're probably seeking for a small short and then taking the entire long entry around 37.5 to 40K. But that would be a very healthy and corrective move, especially knowing that we are facing such a big resistance zone. And at this stage, Bitcoin is trying to break through the resistance and making new highs. Well, it doesn't show any strength at all yet, through which we potentially could be getting any bearish divergence in which we might be reversing here. Wouldn't be a surprise if that's going to happen through the weekend, but you should be avoiding, to me, it should be not be a level where you should be taking longs at all, but you should be taking profits at those ranges in order to be able to become flexible. So if you're 100% exposed to the markets, it might be a time to decrease that exposure to become flexible in all circumstances because if you're fully exposed to the markets, you don't have any ammo or flexibility to buy the dip once again. And that's from a trading perspective. So the critical levels to watch for Bitcoin is still that area around 48K. If it sustains above 45, we still will be having that test. If it loses 45, a longer correction is going to happen. I hope you've enjoyed this update. I'll be back tomorrow with a fresh new one. Don't forget to subscribe.